The four workers injured in the collapse are recovering at home tonight. Now the focus shifts to carefully taking that crane down and getting people back into their homes. Uh, Fox says Rob Durienzo has been on the story since the moment it broke. And Rob, you talked to some of those people who've been forced out of their homes. Yeah, that's right, guys. There's a lot of mounting frustration and uncertainty surrounding this immediate and sudden evacuation. They say firefighters knocked on their door and said they had to get out ASAP. Tonight, there are no clear answers on when these people will be able to go back home. There was a parade of suitcases coming out of Tens on West more than 24 hours after the building was first evacuated on Monday afternoon when a crane counterweight came crashing down. I was in the middle of a phone call yesterday and heard just a huge loud noise, shook the building. Then some firefighters pounded on Sierra Martin's door telling her she had to get out. Had a, you know, a few minutes to kind of grab some stuff, throw it in a bag. On Tuesday afternoon, she was among those who were able to quickly collect some of their belongings. Atlanta Fire says the building and the whole area will remain closed until they're able to safely dismantle the crane. I just got some work clothes, so I uh, can finally look presentable and not in sweatpants. Martin's thankful she has somewhere else to go. She's staying at her boyfriend's house, but she knows others aren't as lucky. It's kind of just for the foreseeable future. Um, I know the engineers and uh, you know, everyone are working to make sure that the buildings are safe, which appreciated. Um, but, you know, it, this is our lives and this is people you're dealing with and this is our home. So I dove into the city's permit records for the job site. There were no violations posted. In fact, it showed a city inspector was on site less than two weeks ago and gave it a thumbs up. A spokesperson for the general contractor told me the crane was, quote, successfully stabilized and now requires dismantling. The Balfour BD team, crane engineers, OSHA, and local authorities are currently working to develop a crane dismantling plan and timeline. They say they're working with government officials to figure out what exactly happened. The building, the apartment management company, um, and the, the real estate developer really need to kind of take responsibility. It's, it's not our fault that the, the crane collapsed. And tonight, this is also creating a traffic headache. You can see behind me, West Peachtree between 10th and 12th remains closed. Same deal with Spring Street. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this in the coming days. A lot of people are looking forward to this finally being over. That's the latest from here, live in Midtown. Rob Urienzo, Fox 5 News. Mm -hmm.